news. This is Workshop Live. It's a beautiful Saturday here in Wisconsin. And uh, we have a good old fashioned drill and fill project. This customer has had some terrible ulcerations, diabetic, uh, in need of some help for offloading. Now we have a custom orthotic and the main culprit, we got two areas, kind of the cuboid area that has uh, deteriorated over the years. This customer has dealt with ulcerations on and off throughout the last decade. And she had a situation where she was uh, casted then in a cam walker for about, I think about a year and a half or two years. So there's real bad tissue deterioration. Um, she got set up with new set of orthotics from us, Chia Pen Shoes, and she was doing well for quite a while, a couple of years. And then within the last year, she's had some openings, she's had more callusing build up in the base of the heel, as well as the cuboid. So we're working on doing some more offloading. Just recently, with uh, the last, I would say, um, I think about six months ago, we did a drill and feel on the cuboid area, and that worked out really well. So what we're doing today is we're doing a drill and fill right at the base of the heel. So that is our project for today. Uh, we're taking a look at the orthotic, and we'll do a little cleanup job on there too. So um, check this out. Yuko International is a great supplier of the quick sill to medical grade silicone. Uh, it's a combination, so you take this off and you pop this in there and it combines to create a really nice offloading zone for the feet. So we're gonna load up our little silicone gun, get that prepped up. Now, the most important part of a drill and fill is the drilling. So, with this, it's not rocket science as we like to say. We're gonna take a Dremel and we are going to excavate the heel. What we like to do is draw an outline. We want about a quarter of an inch around the base of the upper. And we're gonna drill this whole area out we're gonna go down about a quarter of an inch. And when we fill it, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna fill it completely. You wanna leave about a 16th of an inch of extra space. So watch as we progress through here. So drill and fill project. Uh, we have a ulcerated heel. Let's get at it. So we got our outline done right in there. See that? So we got that drilled out right there. Now we're going to remove the fabric. I always like to take out as much as I can so you're not just drilling everything and creating a big mess. Now, we have our outline. We're gonna wanna go down about a quarter of an inch. And when you're doing this, we don't like hard edges. We wanna taper everything really nicely so we're not creating any friction zones, especially for people with tissue damage uh, and ulcerations and the history of ulcerations. So. is go in kind of a linear pattern and just get grooves and then uh, smooth that out in an up and down motion. And we're at about an eighth of an inch. Um, you always, it's good to check every once in a while and make sure everything's getting planed off smoothly and then clear it out. We got down about an eighth of an inch. We're gonna go lower another eighth. Pretty good 
shape here. So because we're filling this in, because we're filling this in with a silicone based material, you want to get as much of the waste out as possible. Make sure you got a nice clean area to work with. So if you look on the inside, we've excavated about a quarter of an inch. Um, you always want to check the, the edges and make sure that they're tapered down nicely. Um, we're going to trim out some of this extra fuzz, but we're looking like we're in good shape. Take, take, use your finger, go along the edges, make sure there's no hard to find ridges. We're going to get a little bit of the back there one more time, just right at the back. So touch it up just a touch more. on the sit and you know the cool thing about this it's not rocket science we're just trying to offload as much as possible so what we have here is um nice little area now we're going to use and you'll see it kind of flow through yeah. That primed up. Now, this type of silicone needs a little manipulation because it's kind of thicker stuff. Just want to touch it through, get the surface area covered up. And again, you're not trying to fill this up so it's overflowing, but a nice nice smooth and it'll it'll settle and plane off really nicely you just want to make sure you have enough but not too much because if you elevate if you think fill it up too much what, this, the, what that potentially could Kimmy. do is just sorry yeah. Just, uh, it could create more pressure underneath the foot. So, Make sure this there works. you go. Check that out. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for a minute. Get that light, like so. Now, the one thing I wanted to do real quick is just looking at the orthotic, cleaned it off with acetone, heated it up, brings up the EVA just a touch. Heel, we have extra pour on, um, an extra quarter of an inch of pour on, the elevating the heel to help offload as much as possible yeah. without overloading um, or over elevating. We're gonna fill this area in with uh, a new layer of SR Poron. So we're gonna do that real quick. called a drill and fill. We drilled out, excavated the base of a heel because we have severe callusing and a slight ulceration, a light opening. This patient is diabetic and really bad history of uh, long-term ulcers. Luckily hasn't had any uh, amputations at all, so that's a good thing. But we are filling this in with a medical grade silicone. We get it through Yuko International. It's called Quicksil. Um, 
Too sure is kind of the, the measure of hardness, and it's a very soft but spongy material. So works really well. We've already done one for the cuboid area. Now you might look at the shoe and say, you know what, Tone? This shoe looks a little worn out, and I agree with you. Um, New Balance is one of our preferred providers for footwear, and uh, 928 is an awesome shoe, but it's been really tough to get. So we've been switching people over to the Saucony Echelon. That's been a great option for us, and we hopefully are getting back into the 928 within the next couple of months. Um, you know, the whole footwear industry has been dealing with some major supply chain issues, and I don't think it's going to change for a while. So, you know, we just got to stay nimble for all of our customers that are out there. You know, at the end of the day, I want to do what's best for you. If if you've been buying the same shoe forever and we don't have it, you know, I'm I'm going to do my best to get that for you. But it's a uh, it's a tough world out there these days. So you know, we just got to stay nimble. Um, there's always shoes, there's always product. Drew is a great option too. They've got some really nice extra depth type products that if we can't get the 928, um, if we can't get something like this, uh, Saucony has some nice products. Drew is another good company that we're partners with. Brooks has some items as well. Um, so there's, there's always products out there. So, all right, we're getting close to the end here. So we've got the drill and fill, heel ulceration, on the right side, we have custom orthotic, number of modifications done on here, and we're just filling in this area with a new layer of SR Pora. Really good stuff. Now we're set for today, folks. I uh, cleaned the shoe up, took the laces out, we'll get it rolling and uh, hopefully get her a new pair of shoes pretty soon, so. All right, so SR Porn is a really soft material. It's slow recovery is what SR stands for. And um, we use Poron quite often. There's a number of different types of it. Um, the idea with Poron is that it's an open cell molecular structure, so it's really, really spongy. It doesn't really take shape. Um, and it's very long lasting. So that's the end of it. Uh, we have a little extra SR forearm built on that cuboid area that was also susceptible to ulceration, lightly opened right now. We have the heel area on the orthotic, extra buildup with poron, standard sport poron, and then we are doing the drill and fill today, folks. So that's what we did. Thank you for tuning in. This has been Workshop Live. Have a great weekend. Ciao.